So I have just completed the first week of my paleo journey and it is just as hard, if not harder than I remember the second time around. On day one, I weighed myself and I clocked in at 178 pounds and 15.2% body fat. Yesterday morning, I weighed myself again and I'm now at 14% body fat. So it just goes to show that a lot can happen in seven days. So let's talk groceries for a second. Shopping for food tends to take twice as long while on paleo, partially because you have to be a lot more aware of the ingredients that are in a lot of the foods that you're buying. So like I mentioned before, you're not allowed to have any artificial sugar while on paleo. So, you know, you would think that, okay, that shouldn't be too hard to avoid, right? Wrong, wrong. In case you didn't know this, there's sugar in damn near everything you buy. I picked up a pack of bacon the other day thinking, okay, this is, this is, just, this is just meat. I, I should be okay with this, right? Wrong. I look at the label and guess what the fourth ingredient is? Secret. Like, I already gave up pizza. Why would you tarnish bacon? Now I gotta eat this bootleg turkey bacon. It doesn't even taste like turkey. It tastes like ham. I didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve it. And for anyone who's following the paleo diet with me, don't be fooled by products and labels that say sugar-free. Because what that actually means is free of the word sugar. But it's chock full of fructose, lactose, can't believe people are buying this sugary bullshit toast. Basically anything with the word toast at the end of it is considered sugar. Damn near everything is made from sugar. Don't be surprised if one day you accidentally lick your iPhone and you become diabetic. I tend to do all my meal prepping on Sunday. That way, during the week, I'm not wasting precious time trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat or even just preparing food. I did, however, learn a very valuable lesson this week in regards to meal prepping. If you have like certain meats that you have to cut up and season, or you have sweet potatoes that you have to prepare, be sure to do that before the day of the actual meal prep. Otherwise, you're gonna spend damn near five hours preparing all this food for the week like I did. And I'll never get those five hours back. I also underestimated how much food I was gonna need for the week, so by the time Wednesday came around, I really had to ration a lot of the stuff that I had just so it would last me throughout the whole week. I'm a guy of very simple taste and I have no issues with eating the same meals over and over again with the exception of a treat meal because food for me is really just fuel for the body. So, However, I do understand that people have different palates and are sometimes bored of eating the same things over and over again. So a great resource for those of you guys who are following the paleo diet is to check out Pinterest and type in paleo in the search section and it'll bring you up a list of all kinds of paleo friendly foods that you can choose from and make yourself so good resource I have noticed some significant changes both physically and mentally physically I do find that I'm getting leaner uh, but also smaller and you know you're getting smaller when your girlfriend goes babe you're gonna be lifting while you're on paleo right my girl don't find me fine no more man <laughs> ah. um, no changes in terms of energy levels while in the gym. I'm not much of a lifter to begin with, so um, other than just body weight training and um, doing flow and movement, really haven't seen any significant changes there or a dip in performance, so I mean that's good. So all in all, not a bad first week. Um, I, I still have three left to go, so we will see. Hopefully I can reach that single digit body fat by the end of the month. Stay tuned for my report on week two. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your boy Tactics, peace, and I'm out. Situation. And he seems very casual about everything. Okay, due to the location of the lump, it's most likely just a cyst and probably nothing to worry about. Now, that doesn't really give me peace of mind considering he's using words like most likely 